Um, I'm here to talk today in a, a very good backpack to bring to the Camino de Santiago. Uh, this one uh, particularly is from Vorda brand, it's a German brand, and the model is the Wizard 30 Plus 4. 30 Plus 4 is uh, referring to the, the volume that, he, that the, the backpack has. Um, for the Camino Santiago, uh, you won't need a bigger backpack. Uh, I've used before... Uh, an Osprey Talon 33, which is also uh, more or less the same volume, so it's more than enough to use uh, a backpack uh, with this capacity. Another thing that you will want from your backpack is that it's light. This one has uh, a little over a kilo, uh, so for the Camino Santiago, and if you're carrying your backpack, you want to consider the volume, the weight, and how easy does it fit to your body, how comfortable it is for you to carry this backpack. So this one is new, I'm really uh, eager to, to, to use it uh, for the first time, and I read a lot on this backpack before I buy it, I already try it and uh, it's really really great. So what can I say uh, from this backpack and why I chose this over others? So one of the things that made me choose this backpack is that it is divided into compartments. Uh, so uh, being so it's easy to to get to your stuff without you know taking everything out to to get something from the bottom. So if I want something from the bottom, I open it here and there it is, so I can get it from the bottom. Remember, uh, when you're doing your backpack, always put the heavier stuff on the bottom and the closest as possible to your back. So on the bottom of the also on the bottom of your uh, of your backpack. Here you also you see you can either have these two main compartments divided, it is divided, or you can have it as one. It's up to you. I normally have it uh, divided. Um, so this is the, 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 the bottom compartment, and then the good thing with the other main compartment is that it has a big opening so you can open and you can have everything here right away. Also inside you can see that you have this, this is for the, the camel bag. Uh, if you want to bring your camel bag, I don't use it, but there are people that use it during the Camino Santiago. You can put a camel bag and here the hose of the camel bag that connects with uh, this part here. So you can have water all the time. Um, so you can see here the camel bag and also has this for the hose, so you can have it secure. More things from this uh, bag is in front, you have another compartment for things that you need uh, normally that are easy to get, your wallet, your mobile phone, um, I don't know, there's also another compartment here if you want to put other stuff. You see there's enough storage room for the backpack. On the side you have pockets here and here. Uh, this is just to help if you want to see the backpack either this extended or you want to compact it, you can compact it. Or even if you have something that you want to to bring here to have it secure, you can bring it here and secure with that. Uh, more things. This backpack has a, a, a rain cover. So if there's rain, you can cover with that. Although, uh, as a personal choice, I, I would prefer to use a poncho that covers the backpack. Uh, because uh, cover the backpack and me at the same time. 
Because if you use this, the tendency is that the water goes between the, the, the backpack and your back, uh, possibly putting everything wet here. So, this is what I use a poncho. Normally I don't use this, unless it's a very light rain or something like that. It has some reflectance and it has this to hold the light if you go and walk uh, night time in places where there are cars and everything. I will be coming to Santiago. There aren't too many places where you're going to walk night time where you need a light so the cars could see you. But it has that just in case you don't use the backpack only for the Camino Santiago. You might want to use it for other things. Other thing <clears throat> that is also very interesting on this backpack is that you can, you see you have a 30, this is a 30, then you can have an extra 4 liters. That means that the, the, the backpack will extend somehow. So there's a zipper here on the side. You open it and you have a bigger backpack if you need an extra storage or something like that. This is a very good feature. Okay? Now, on this side, this is more the storage part. Now, this is more the side that you're going to need uh, to, to carry the backpack. Um, this here is very comfortable and it's um, also very important for you to have when you buy a backpack. This is your, uh, um, how to say, uh, your waist support for the backpack. Remember, uh, if you're using a backpack to walk so many kilometers, you want that uh, waist uh, support. And this is where 70% of the weight of the backpack should lie on, on your waist, not on your shoulders. Um, if you put all the weight on your shoulders, you'll have back pain and you'll struggle with that. So that weight, big majority of the weight that you're carrying should be always on your waist. And this allows it to do. Uh, other thing that this uh, backpack has that is very interesting is that depending if you're a girl or a boy or you're tall or short, you can adapt the length of this support, of the shoulder support, to your height. So for instance, now it's an L. It is set for me, large. But imagine that my girlfriend wants to give it for instance and she's... Uh, uh, shorter than me, then I can pull this. Look, look at uh, this. this. Will go inside. See, and then I have this could be an S, for instance. So I have shorter shoulder support. Huh? Uh, in my case, it's now I'm going to put back in the L. There it is, and then. See, and it is set. Other things that you can set here in this backpack is the separation between this mesh and that will uh, separate your, your back and the sweat and the, the bag itself. You can set with this also. So you can see it goes there or there and then you put it there. That's it. It's called air balance, so you have more air or less air going in between your back and the backpack. Depending if it's too hot or not that hot. Um, so, more things I'm going to put it on so for you to see. So as I said, you have this support for your waist. Uh, I really like the way they set this, so very easy to open. Okay, and very easy also too. So you just uh, pull that and you have that really uh, tight there. So it's really really comfortable 
and it suits uh, the body. Other things that you can see here is the chest here, so you can have that also on the top. You can then uh, regulate that on height. You can put it that down or up. Uh, very good also if you're a girl for your uh, breasts. And uh, also you can regulate here. And this is very interesting. Uh, I've seen this before in some of uh, the, um, the other uh, backpacks. So you can either use, of course you use that to pull and to, to regulate that. But if you're too tired you can also walk here. Because if you always have the hands down and walking so many hours, the, uh, the tendency is to sw uh, swallow your hands. If you put your thumbs here or even up here, it helps to prevent that swelling. And one last regulation is if it's... Uh, I can't see this one. Ah, here it is. It's this one. You can regulate and bring it closer. To your to your back, okay, and uh, basically that's it. I bought this uh, this uh, backpack online. Uh, and a friend of mine has a, a a shop in Mallorca. It's called Ezra Fuji. So he delivered, and uh, I just paid a really good price for it. And that's it. This is I, what I wanted to share with you. This is my Camino backpack and I'm really wanting to, to, to start the Camino. Uh, somewhere um, here or here I'm going to put a link for you to, to see what I bring to the Camino. And uh, so you can, can see that this is enough to, to bring all of this to the Camino with me. Great companion. Okay. So, oh, forgot this. You can also uh, use uh, the, the backpack to carry your, your pole if you don't want to walk with it or you're just too tired or you want to put it on the backpack. You just put that here. Okay. And then has this feature for your pole and you can use it there. It's also very simple to to take that out. You just press those two things here and it unleashes there. And that's it. See? Very easy. Okay, if you like the video, uh, thumbs up, uh, share with your friends and people that might be find this useful, uh, how to use uh, the backpack on the Camino Santiago and what's the best backpack to, to carry all the things that you need and um, if you have any questions or uh, comments or remarks just uh, write, them, write them down. Thank you for, for watching, take care and buen camino of course. Mm -hmm.